In this video, we're going to attempt to solve the equation 3 times x minus 7 squared minus 2 times x minus 7 minus 5 equals 0. And what you might notice about this problem is we have this x minus 7 in parentheses showing up just as a regular parentheses and also being squared. This equation is quadratic in form in that we can introduce a new variable y equal to that middle part x minus 7 which would mean y squared is equal to that x minus 7 squared. By making this replacement using the new variable, the equation now becomes 3 y squared, replacing the x minus 7 squared, minus 2 y, replacing the x minus 7, minus 5 equals 0. And we now have an equation we can solve by factoring. We get the 3y squared by multiplying 3y times y, and at the end, the negative 5, we can get with either negative 1 and, neg and 5, 5 and 1, play with the negatives with a little guess and check, or by using some other factoring method, we can see that we want the 5 in the middle and the 1 at the end. And if we make the 5 negative and the 1 positive, that'll give us the negative 2y in the middle positive 3 and negative 5 from the outside and inside. Now we can set each factor equal to 0. 3y minus 5 equals 0 and y plus 1 equals 0. And quickly solve the first equation by adding 5 and dividing by 3 to get y is equal to the fraction 5 thirds. We can solve the second equation quickly by subtracting 1 to get y is equal to negative 1. However, this problem wasn't asking us to figure out what y equals. This problem was asking us to figure out what the x in the equations equaled. So what we need to do is substitute back using x's, and we can do that knowing that y is equal to x minus 7. We can replace these y's with x minus 7. So the first one, x minus 7 equals 5 thirds, and the second one, x minus 7 equals negative 1. Just replacing the y's with the x minus 7 that they equal. x minus 7 equals those two answers, 5 thirds and negative 1. Solving then, we add 7 to both sides. That'd be 7 over 1, getting a common denominator. Whoops. Add 7 over 1. We need a common denominator, so we multiply by 3. We're adding 21 thirds. So x is equal to 5 plus 21, which is 26 thirds. For our other answer, we add 7 as well. No fractions, that's kind of nice x is equal to 26 thirds, and x is equal to 6. We found those answers by noticing we were quadratic in form. If we replace the x minus 7 with a y, and the x minus 7 squared with a y squared, that helps us factor the problem and find our solutions for y. Finally, we have to switch back to the x's by replacing the y's with the x minus 7 to find our two solutions for x.